Another curiosity. The church owns more than 3,000 acres in northwest Missouri where Mormons believe that Jesus will return for his second coming. Gordon Hinckley prefers not to talk about Jesus returning to Missouri or about sacred undergarments. He says that those points miss the point. He wants to portray Mormons as mainstream, not extreme. And for that, Hinckley has hired a Jewish-owned public relations firm. Mormons hiring Jews to help spread the word makes sense to Senator Orrin Hatch, but then he wears a mezuzah on a chain around his neck. A mezuzah is often put at the entrance to a Jewish home as a reminder of their faith. It's typical of Mormon people to love all people, but especially Jewish people. I wear a mezuzah just to remind me, to, to make sure that there is never another Holocaust anywhere. You see, the Mormon church is the, on, uh, the only church in the history of this country that had an extermination order out against it by Governor Loburn Boggs of Missouri. We went through untold persecutions. When Smith announced that independence was the site of the Garden of Eden and that this would be the site of the new Zion and that God would give this chosen land to his new followers, it didn't sit well with the old settlers in Jackson County. And many of them were very explicit about it. They said, we got along fine with the Mormons. We had no problem with them until Joseph Smith came along with these revelations and, and told us they were going to take all of our land. The extermination order. What a lot of people don't realize, it was first threatened by the Latter-day Saints. Three months before the extermination was ordered by Governor Lilburn W. Boggs. I'm not justifying it. I'm just saying you ought to see both sides. Section 98 of the Doctrine and Covenants is basically a law of retaliation where God gives you permission to go hunt down and kill your enemies after the third offense. There's a little more about the extermination order. This is what Sidney Rigdon said in this famous 4th of July speech, and that mob that comes on us to disturb us, it shall be between us and them a war of extermination, for we will follow them until the last drop of their blood is spilled or else they will have to exterminate us for we will carry the seed of war to their own houses and their own families and one party or the other shall be utterly destroyed Smith approved of the speech and it was printed in the far west a weekly newspaper and the church's elders journal the church had its own war department the church, they had a secretary of war, their prophet and president. And so there's a real militaristic and culture of, of violence.